uh, jaundice is one of the more exciting problems, more challenging problems to be faced with in a cancer patient because it's so easy to correct if you're early enough and because it's so reliable. So you can be quite sure to get that jaundice reversed if you can do all of this in just a few days time. Sometimes jaundice um, requires longer, but this removes the cause. Our method is always to remove the cause, and we can do that in about two days for each, um, for each action, and that always uh, puts you on time to save the patient's life. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Go ahead. What happens is? What happens when jaundice develops is that fungus is growing in your liver. In the past, it was thought, and I thought also, that aflatoxin had been eaten with your food. There's a lot of aflatoxin around, bread, nuts, men, anything that can mold could give you aflatoxin. Grapes, strawberries in the summertime? Particularly the drier things like nuts and Raisins. breads. Mm -hmm. But we are very bad in our housekeeping about keeping stale bread around. Mm -hmm. We should be calling it moldy bread, not to be eaten, not saved to make something else, like bread mm -hmm. pudding. Mm -hmm. Not at all. If you're going to save breads for bread pudding, you should put them in the freezer so that mold can't develop. We need much more mold protection than we are using in our kitchens. And when we put bread in a plastic bag and seal it, we've made a perfect home for molds to grow, haven't oh, we? Oh, yes. Yeah. And uh, we should never eat something that might be moldy or that hasn't been refrigerated. We mm -hmm. should be much more cautious about mm -hmm. that. Uh, we're in a low immunity uh, time of, of human existence, and we need to be more cautious about all the different ways that we make ourselves toxic. So, so jaundice is just a toxicity effect of, of mold. Um, mm -hmm. And the two molds that make jaundice are aspergillus and penicillium, but they can be very easily um, removed uh, by starving them. They require metals. Penicillium requires copper, just that one metal, and aspergillus requires chromium and cobalt, but there may be an extra um, metal that I have not detected yet in some cases, but in I'd say in 95 or 98 percent of jaundice cases it will be chromium and cobalt, but, but a serious jaundice case will have both molds, so you have to remove copper also. Now if you have a set called heavy metals set, that makes it easy, and here Sylvia is making a set called heavy metals out of the liver set. The liver set are those dozen bottles there, each a slightly different part of the liver. And the masters, which have those flat white tops, uh, are each one part of the liver, and she, but the parts of the liver have been already um, electronically manipulated so that the, to contain the, the instruction to the body to take heavy metals out of that part. What happens when you take such drops is that the white blood cells get right to work taking the heavy metals or everything that you put in that bottle to make it uh, out of that particular part of the liver and not other parts. And what you would be seeing is that the white blood cells are grabbing up those things that were in that bottle, we called heavy metals, and not other things. It's quite specific. 
So you do have to be accurate with the system. You can't be hoping that you're correct. You have to know that you're right. Then the next day when you check the saliva, you can see the change. You can see the change in 15 minutes. My goodness. So you could take this, these drops over and over, even 15 minutes apart, and get six doses down yourself, and that will be uh, uh, already a, a large improvement for the liver. First of all, the liver set was given, which improves the liver's white blood cells actions, and then the heavy metals out of the liver follows that, and that is being given today. Mm -hmm. uh, the patient already received six or more doses of l plain liver set, so that the liver itself is clean and the white blood cells are ready to take on this heavy metals out task. So she is making two bottle copies of each one of those masters. And it is done the same way that we make other copies. Here I had a sample of bilirubin oxidase, an enzyme, which would come in a tiny bottle, like maybe something like this. And that needs to be copied into uh, a different bottle so that I'm not always using my stock bottle. That way I can save the stock in the refrigerator and work with a bottle copy which isn't so sensitive to temperature. So uh, jaundice consists of more than one problem. The fungus is growing there, the fungus is making aflatoxin, the fungus requires metals and we're going to take those metals away from them so that the fungus level will come way down by tomorrow night, that's two days worth of these drops, uh, the, you'll hardly be able to find these metals in any part of that liver. Maybe a few parts still where it was the heaviest, but the rest mm -hmm. will be out. And you won't be able to find fungus anymore because they've already been starved out.